そくりょくで未来も今も駆け抜けろ」僕は気づいたんだずっと宿題忘れたそれは一つの謎謎謎僕は誰なんだろうスライディングしてすりむけてひさ痛くたってねすぐ立ち上がらなきゃチャンスは逃げてゆくわかってるさ I see. I understand the basic specs. So, where's the actual field data? Well, it's not quite ready. All I can provide today is up to A7. So you don't have it? Well, we'll begin testing with a mock-up unit very soon. But the system is still a little unstable and... Aren't you just making excuses? Listen, Chief Uzuki. Why do you think you're on this ship? Think about that for a moment. This fleet may be newly outfitted, but it was assembled under major time constraints. And we have eggs units, but the 100 series observational units that go with them aren't available until later. What would happen if by some chance we were attacked by those things? I don't think I need to describe the outcome to you. The purpose of Cosmos deployment was to address this issue. Or am I mistaken? No, sir. Listen, you're not in a laboratory anymore. You're on a warship. This is a battlefield. Cosmos was supposed to be our frontline defense here, and now you're telling us it hasn't even woken up yet. There's no point in having a weapon that can't even get out of bed. That thing's only meaningful to us when it's fully operational. Why can't you? Let it go, Commander. These people are working under serious time constraints, just like our own squadron. Besides, they're only one step away from actual field testing. In the end, we all want to see this operation completed without having to resort to that thing, don't we? Of course, Captain. But I believe we... Ugh, who's calling me? Is there a problem? Uh, uh, no. Something urgent's come up. If you'll excuse me. I wonder what's wrong. I don't know. Well, never mind. That's enough for today, Chief Uzuki. Let me know if any new developments arise. I'm sorry we failed to meet your expectations. Doll, oh, there's no need to apologize. What's important to us is how reliable the system is once we start using it. Rushing the project won't get us anywhere. So just calm down and take as much time as you need. The government's funding it all anyway, right? <laughs> you must be tired. Take the rest of the day off. Yes, sir. I'm afraid there's no excuse for the fatalities that occurred during the recovery. However, we can... That's a trivial matter. Forget it. The problem is that those people touched the Zohar and then vanished. And, in addition to that, you're still transporting it while exposed to normal space. 
Because of that, we've had to move the plan up two phases. We can't have the Zohar falling into the government's hands. Two phases? But why are you... We picked up local UMN activity on our EPR radar. The fleet is column jumping towards the position of your convoy. They'll cross your vector in five hours, 22 minutes. No, it can't be. Them? I told you, you've made a grave mistake. We dispatched reinforcements an hour ago. So keep it safe at all costs until they arrive. W will they make it in time? Just keep it safe until they arrive. I don't care if you have to send it into hyperspace by itself. Fortunately for you, your ship is carrying that weapon. I don't know what Vector's up to, but take advantage of the situation if you can. Excuse me, sir, but they haven't even started field testing it yet. It's too risky. You, of all people, should be cognizant of its power. I don't care if it's unstable. Make them hurry. But, but, sir... That is all. Commander, wait! Commander Marculus! Like I told you before, I can't go anywhere until my project stabilizes. Don't you remember? You know how long you've been saying that? I haven't seen you for two years now. You can at least come home for our parents' memorial. Where's your sense of filial duty? Memorial? Oh, come on. Why are you trying to resurrect obscure ancient rituals? Wait a minute. You've been reading those weird old books again, haven't you? I swear you're so obsessed with those precious books of yours. That is none of your business, thank you very much. Uh, how many times must I tell you not to quibble about my way of life? What do you mean, way of life? All that stuff's just a stupid old hobby for you. Just remember, don't expect me to take you in when you're old, senile, and all alone. That's terribly rude of you, Xion. Don't worry about me. Just promise me you'll come home this year, okay? If you don't... All right, all right, when I get some time off. Look, gotta run. See ya. Hey, wait. I'm not going to let you dodge the question again. Hello? Hello? Honestly, I wish he'd consider my feelings for a change. Good night.
What the? You're all still here? Hey, how's it going? We're trying to pinpoint today's problem, among other things. What about you? Oh, Commander Cherenkov gave me a piece of his mind earlier. Ouch. Glad to see you survived. That guy's relentless. You act like a bunch of college kids, and what, Inspector, run by a Girl Scout? He just went on and on. Man, that's just not right. Seriously. But it isn't right to have the Chief taking all the heat. Still, I wonder why he seems so nervous. Now exiting the asteroid field. That's excellent. Prepare to gate jump. Aye, aye, Captain. All ships entering approach. Nineteen minutes, thirty seconds to column area. UMN, pulse received. Current coordinates locked. Transfer vector correction to 103. Target, Athens column. Captain, a warning signal. It can't be. Is it them? No, sir. The detection system is silent. How's it look on your side? Nothing over here, either. Are you sure it's not an error? No, no it's not. What is this? What's going on? Sir, I don't think an external source is causing this warning signal. Then what's causing it? I'll run a search. I've pinpointed the anomaly. It's inside the ship, Sector 3. Thank you. 
is it now? What is it now? Detecting a large-scale spatial distortion ahead of us. An enormous mass is gating out. Impossible. We're still outside the column area. That's... The UMN geodesic structure is being breached. The target! It appears to be interacting with the UMN somehow! It's being hacked! That's possible? Massive gravity fluctuations! Surface anomalies forming in space-time! Impossible! That defies all laws of physics! The numbers are completely inconsistent. terminal can enable it. Damn it! Why now? Unless it's reacting to Gnosis. Where's the genie? She should be heading this way, but the regular UMP channels are congested and I can't reach her. And the emergency line? I'm trying it now.
I don't know. The power just suddenly... Huh? Huh? What? doing here? What do you think you're doing? Those bullets could have killed me! What are we doing? What the hell do you think you're doing running around like an idiot? We thought you were a gnosis! Look, I've got my own problems to deal with. Here I am getting attacked by the gnosis, I'm getting lost at every turn and... and don't, don't give me a hard time right now! What the hell? Lost? You're the idiots who built this ship! I'm not with the fleet design department. I wouldn't know a thing about ships. We're on DEFCON 1 alert! What the hell is a civilian like you wandering around the ship for? Well, I've... got an emergency. I'm worried about Cosmos. What the hell is Cosmos? Ah, never mind. Deal with it later. Just get to a shelter and stay put. Believe me, if I could, I would. Then why don't you? I just told you, Cosmos is... Ah, shut up! Hey! We're coming! Get back! Lieutenant! What? You think I'm deaf or something? You... What the... Hey! Get your room! Snap! 
good. Xion, you need to get out of here. Just go down this corridor past section E to the hangar. You know about the escape pods there, don't you? Well, that's where they are. Please use one and abandon ship immediately. And you and the others? We'll hold them off here. You've got to hurry. I can't do that. I can't just run off by myself. We'll have to leave together. <laughs> This is what we were born to do. But you... You! What do you think you're doing? Get back here and engage the enemy! Take care. with the 117th Marine Division. We're engaged with the Gnosis. Coordinates KX417Y009Z735. Requesting immediate reinforcements. Repeat, this is the crew... Captain, it must be... No question about it. They're after that thing. Where's our first officer? What happened to Cherenkov? the status we've connected the main field generator and this block sub reactor it'll only hold for three minutes but we can move this ship under power bypass connection to the logic drive secured you can take control from this terminal that's fine good work commander I object purging this entire block and executing a gate jump is suicide you know as well as I do what happens when a human body enters hyperspace unprotected. All that matters is that we get this to the commander. We'll be at the next column area in a matter of minutes. There's no time. Get in the pod and evacuate with the others. But commander, the Gnosis are swarming all over the place. We won't stand a chance even if we do evacuate. We should accompany you. Listen. The Gnosis are insignificant. They are nothing compared to what'll happen if it awakes. As soon as you launch the escape pod, inject yourself with 8 milligrams of Dig Beta. You'll fall into a temporary near-death state, but that'll keep them from noticing you. 
Reinforcements from Central Command will arrive in a few hours. You must survive until then, or my death will be for nothing. Commander! Commander. Go now! Do. I gotta stop them. There's gotta be a way. But how? Hey, you. Quit your whining. I'll give it right back. Hey, they're based on the 508 series, right? So what if they are? It's been almost 14 years now, since I returned from Nilsha, that is. Out in the fields, I took apart so many of them to get what I was looking for. It was a lot of work, you know. What with that dual-stage protection they got and all. Dual-stage? Lieutenant, you consumed their neuro... But of course, they were quite delicious. How could you? That's when I found out about the control code. It's quite a convenient function you put in there. <gasps> That's right. I'm going to have these marionettes hold off the Gnosis for us. Just like this. Stop it! What do you think they are? This is a clear violation of... Of their rights? That's for peacetime, lady. You think I don't know the Milshan Charter? Milshan Charter, Article 4, Paragraph 13. Weapons-grade realians are required to be equipped with a remotely accessible behavioral limit and self-destruct system in case of emergency or malfunction. Use of these functions will be determined by the senior officer in charge of the situation. Am I right? Well, that time is now. And I am the conductor. I intend to make full use of my orchestra. Stop it! You have no right to play God with their lives! Using them as bombs! I won't let you do this! So what are you gonna do about it? Tell me. Why haven't you disabled that function? Sure, it's factory loaded, but you of all people shouldn't have any trouble removing it. Since you care about them so much, all it would take is a little tweak and they'd be free as birds. 
and yet you don't. Why not? Because company protocol Exactly. It's protocol. In other words, you're just like me, bound by that protocol. We're the ones that give them a reason to live. Am I wrong? But I... That's the difference between us and them. Am I wrong? So why not give it to them? A meaning to their pitiful existence!
Shion. Uh, yes? We will now proceed to hangar one. Huh? There is a 99.998% probability that the Gnosis target is the object stored in that hangar. My assigned duties are to verify and preserve the integrity of that object and to protect the Vector staff members. Uh, but I... Life pods are located on the second level of the hangar. Please use one to escape. Cosmos! Ch chief the beginning 